Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is kind of weird, it kind of feels like my old setup with the room divider still there, which I kind of like. But hi, my name's Amber if you're new and if you're not, welcome back. But I'm really excited for this video because I'm actually doing like something a little bit different I guess. A video I've kind of seen like floating around YouTube, but it's 10 things I no longer or have never bought. Now I've seen people do this in different ways like some people just do like lifestyle things, some people do like baby things. I'm doing like a bit of everything. Obviously not baby things because I don't have a baby. But just general things that I've come across that I no longer buy for environmental reasons. Like just the, realising the impact we're having on the environment with like our consumption. And I think it's really cool to see how people are like slowly like bringing that back down to like a bit more minimal which is kind of cool. Um, but also just life as a student sometimes you have to cut things out because... They're just too expensive. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of chat through it. I've got a list of about 10 things. I could probably do more, so we could do a part two, but these were kind of like the 10 obvious ones that stood out to me. I have, of course, got a list on my phone because I always have a list for every video, apparently, but I thought it'd be really fun to kind of chat through it. And if you have any of the same, or you can think of any different ones, or could recommend any things that I use but probably don't need to, leave them down below because that'd be really cool. Oh, except the list isn't on my phone, it's on my computer. Bear with. <laughs> We're back. Okay, so the first one is probably one you guys could probably guess, but it's makeup and nail varnish. I've kind of squished these two into one. Um, but in terms of makeup, like, my everyday makeup is concealer and mascara and it's been the same concealer and the same mascara for quite some time um, and I usually get those as like birthday presents or Christmas presents so I rarely buy them myself um, and that is literally all the makeup I ever wear. I've never bought a foundation, I've never bought a blush, I've never bought an eyeshadow palette, like I'm pretty minimal with my makeup which is nice because makeup can be very expensive and if you get into like that as a hobby or you just really like doing your own makeup and having like nice makeup it can get very 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 expensive as my sister will tell you um so yeah it's just nothing it's just something that I've never really been interested in I guess I started wearing makeup probably when I was like 14 and it was literally concealer and mascara and I just got comfortable with it and I've never kind of branched out of that. Sometimes I'll wear bronzer or like a lipstick but they're ones that I've had for quite some time which is probably a bit gross but I just really don't see the need to like replace them I guess or like test out different products and things so that's definitely a big money saver for me. And in terms of nail varnish the same kind of applies like I went through a phase maybe when I was like 19, 18 of like buying quite a lot of nail varnishes so I've got a pretty good collection and I'm not the kind of person that's really specific about what shade. Usually it's just like, oh, I want a pink one or I want a red one or I want a grey one or whatever. And I'll just go with it. And if the colour I want isn't there, I'll just swap it out for something else. Um, and I also borrow some nail varnishes from my mum and my sister quite a lot, which helps as well. So yeah, it's just something I no longer buy, really. I don't often paint my nails. My nails are currently very small because I bite them. So won't be painting those anytime soon. But I haven't bitten them in a week. So we're trying our new resolution here, so maybe by the end of this year I'll be buying nail varnish again. But for now it's just something that I can save a bit of money on and just takes up less room in my house, I guess, less makeup space. My next thing that I no longer buy, I think is something that a lot of people are starting to no longer buy, but it is tampons. Now, I was never really a fan of sanitary towels, so I switched to tampons like quite early on. But just like the whole, I think both of them are just very wasteful in the sense like you use multiple a day, there's usually like plastic and then a plastic cover and then the actual tampon itself. Um, and yeah, you go through multiple a day. So I was just realising how many times I was like going to the bin to like throw things away, especially because I feel bad saying this, but I was one of those people that used like the plastic applicators. Um, so I don't know, it just felt really bad. So I've swapped out for an organic cup, like a menstrual cup. And oh my god, would not recommend it enough. I've been doing it for three three or four months now, maybe. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It was, definitely was like something strange that I had to get used to. Like it was very different. Um, but I can't imagine it any other way now. Like using something else would just be weird. So I've switched to a cup. Um, and I just find, obviously, I don't throw anything away. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I'll probably have to replace it at some point, but as I said, it's still pretty new. I've only had it three months. Um, but that will be the only time like I throw something away. Otherwise, you can just reuse it again and again and again. And I think that's a really great way to like 
reduce your waste a little bit because it's something you don't even think about like it's something you have to do it happens every month but if you add it up you're probably using what like 20 20 tampons 30 tampons somewhere around there like it's a lot my next thing that I no longer buy is very new to me and I'm a bit nervous saying it but I no longer buy clothes like new clothes this was a thing me and my boyfriend Christian have introduced for 2020. We made a £50 bet with ourselves that we weren't going to buy any new clothes in 2020. We can buy charity shop, we can buy like thrifted items, which are kind of the same thing. We can buy vintage store stuff, anything second hand. You can get hand-me-downs from like your friends and family. Um, the only things we've made exceptions for are obviously like pants and like hygienic products that like... I don't know, like swimwear and things like that that you maybe wouldn't want to buy secondhand. But other than that, like being someone who used to buy like at least maybe two pieces of clothing a week, it's quite intimidating not to buy anything. We're at the end of January and I haven't bought any new clothing, so I'm doing all right so far. Um, but I have really enjoyed like going to the thrift stores and like trying to find a little gem in there. Um, but just seeing how like fast fashion has such an impact on the environment, it was something that I was becoming quite conscious of, especially because of some of the people I follow on YouTube and things like that, who just kind of made me more aware. Um, oh, we can also buy like sustainable items, like slow fashion items, which we know will last us a really long time. So there are obviously a lot of like ways around it because obviously we couldn't just not buy clothes. Like it's just not realistic for us. Um, but it definitely does make me think more about what I'm putting into my wardrobe and whether I really like it and whether I can see myself wearing it in five years time or whether I'm just buying it to be like trendy and then in two months I'm just going to throw it away because I honestly believe like there's got bound to be enough clothes in the world for everyone you know like the charity shops are always full of things like the charity shop near me has closed their like takings like they're not taking any clothes at the moment because they've got too many um so i just think it's a really cool way to kind of keep clothes out of landfills and things and also just like find some really cool stuff the next thing is something that i have never bought and it is designer shoes or handbags and like i mean like luxury designers like i've got a levi backpack that i wouldn't call that designer it was just a bit more expensive um but yeah it's just something i again i've never really been interested in i guess i am kind of lucky that i kind of dodged that bullet because that could be a very expensive hobby um but i think i have about four pairs of shoes and i think the most expensive pair were like nike air force ones which were like 50 quid so not too bad there and then in terms of handbags as i said i have my backpack and that's it oh no i did get a brown bag for christmas like a little handbag like strap but I don't know how much that was or where it was from but it's from my auntie it was very pretty um so it's nice that I have like a black one and a brown one but that's pretty much it so again it's just something I've never really bought I completely understand it like some of them are gorgeous but for me being like quite frugal and a student it's just something that I'm not willing to spend my money on and I don't really see like the need for because I don't have that desire necessarily it's fine if you do and I mean some people love it and it's so cool to see like people's collections and stuff I watch a lot of those videos but just personally it's not something I'm interested the next thing is definitely just for like student life student budget and it is like starters and desserts in restaurants I don't really ever buy now I think this was introduced to me at a very young age like I remember going out for dinner with my parents like my mum and stuff and we would never really buy starters or desserts like it makes sense she was a single mum probably didn't want to splash the cash on starters and desserts oh to be fair sometimes we got dessert at pizza pizza hut like the ice cream machine things I remember doing that but it was just something that we didn't get very often and it's just something that I carried on throughout my adult years I guess I just don't really see the point in spending the extra money sometimes it's nice to share a starter and things don't get me wrong it's something I do occasionally but if it was my choice like if I wasn't had if I didn't have anyone with me saying like oh do you want to share a starter I probably wouldn't just because I do like to save some of my money especially as a student so if I'm spending some money going out for dinner and on like a drink or whatever I'm probably not going to have that little bit extra to spend on the dessert or the starter and often I find I'm pretty damn full by the end of the main anyway um, but yeah that's just something to consider if you are trying to save some money or you are on a student budget just if you want to go out for dinner that's fine but maybe just order one course instead of two or three. My next one I was kind of hesitant to put in because like I don't know it's something I've never bought but I don't know basically my next one is cigarettes I've never bought cigarettes now 
I wasn't going to include this because I didn't want to like trigger anyone, I don't know why, but I saw loads of other videos included like alcohol and things and I guess that's along the same lines, like don't get me wrong, I buy alcohol and I buy a lot of it, but in terms of cigarettes I've never really smoked, I've smoked like socially, like at a club or something if my friend's having one I'll have one, but no, never like from my own like desire to smoke I guess so again that's a really good way to save some money because cigarettes are very expensive I know that um so yeah it's just something I've never bought switching it up completely something I no longer buy or like don't buy anymore is like spreads now by this I mean peanut butter and Nutella I do not buy them because if I do I eat the whole thing so this is like all about willpower here and just knowing myself far too well. Um, I love peanut butter, I freaking love Nutella. Peanut butter on toast is one of my favourite breakfasts and it's a breakfast I have every time I go back to Christian's family home, like she always has peanut butter there and I always have peanut butter on toast and it's always great. And same with my house actually at home. But I just know in my own cupboard, in my own house, when no one else is around, I will be getting that jar out the cupboard with a big old spoon and just... So it's something I no longer buy. I guess I am saving money because I know Nutella can be quite expensive but it's just honestly for like to stop me pigging out and binging basically. So I no longer buy spreads. Going back a bit to the environment, we no longer buy red meat. Um, I was never really a huge red meat eater. I eat chicken quite a lot but like I can go without it, like there's nothing, there's no desire in me that's like, oh I could really use some chicken, I'm always just like, oh I haven't had any protein in like four days, maybe I should have some chicken. But red meat was never really a big thing for me, my mum always said it's because like, of your blood type or something, like a blood, a certain blood type doesn't eat a lot of meat, like an O or an A or a B, I don't know which one it is, but anyway, I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, and Christian really loves beef, but after watching like a documentary or two about like farming and cows and the environment and everything like that we just decided to like pull back a bit so I personally never really buy red meat I'll sometimes have a burger but that's maybe like once a month and that's if we're going out to like a burger bar because like I said Christian really likes red meat so we do make an exception every now and then but it's nothing it's something I don't really bring back to my home um, unless I'm doing like a big summer barbecue or something which hasn't happened yet yeah in terms of like mince meat and things like that I'll opt for like a corn version or like a substitute for the meat um I always just feel a bit guilty I remember the last time I bought beef mince I went to the checkout and I really felt like the person was judging me behind the the checkout I mean they probably weren't or maybe they were but I think it was just me like just feeling so guilty so I just felt like a bit I know, it was a really odd feeling. So I just don't really buy red meat anymore, it's nothing, something I just don't really have the need for and it's something I'm quite happy to live without um, and yet yeah, it's not something I will be buying anytime soon. The next thing I don't really ever buy or have never really bought is like those random occasion cards, like I buy cards for birthdays, sometimes I make them and I make cards for like Christmas for my family and things and sometimes there'll be like a Valentine's card or an anniversary card but in terms of like new home or congratulations on your baby or like to you on your anniversary, like all of the, I, I so get it because I love cards, this is the thing that doesn't make any sense, it's so contradictory. I love getting cards, like I've just moved house, I got two new home cards and I absolutely love them and they're on my mantle and it's just something about receiving a letter in the post like something like there's a bit of novelty about it I don't know I really love it and just to know like people are thinking about you but it's just something that I don't spend my money on because cards can add up pretty damn quick especially if you go to like Clinton's or something and get a nice one um and yeah so I just tend to like send a text or call someone rather than buy a card which obviously people have mixed opinions about like me because I love getting them but I don't really like buying them but some of them I do find like not really relevant I guess so I just don't really buy them. The next one is kind of too mushed into one as well but it's books and music so in terms of music I actually share a Spotify account with Christian and Christian pays for it so I listen to new music and things like that but I don't necessarily pay for it so I'm kind of hacking the system there little cheat if you've got a boyfriend or a housemate or something that's willing to share their Spotify with you um, but yeah so I share a Spotify account so I don't listen to music and in terms of books I love books I read a lot of books but I always get them from the charity shop there's just something about paying £12 for a book that I'm like 
I think I obviously get the people have put a lot of effort in it, into it and everything but from a student budget I'm not about to be paying 15 quid on a book I'm really sorry so I really like going to the charity shop picking out a book spending 50p and then returning it when I'm done I just think obviously it's just like the library I guess but the whole ritual of going there finding a gem that you really like keeping it for as long as you want and then giving it back or passing it on to someone else I've done that quite a lot like me and Christian's mum have had a bit of a little like book club going on where we're like swapping books and quite often someone's been like oh I really want to read this book and I've been like oh my god I've just read it you can have it and they're like really I'm like yeah I got it from the charity shop and they're like oh cool so I think it's really nice to be able to pass that on and because I haven't spent so much money on it it's like not like an investment for me I feel fine like passing it on to other people to read which I think is something really nice because they don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on a book either so yeah something I don't really spend money on now my last thing is something I've probably bought a couple of times in my life but not very often and it's kind of like the card thing but it's like flower it's not like flowers it is flowers I no longer buy flowers now I love flowers and I love receiving flowers which is why it's like the cards thing Christian often buys me flowers like I say often maybe like a couple times a year but I love getting them but for me personally spending that much money on flowers like once or twice a week or once or twice a month whatever it is just to me it could add up quite quickly especially when you're buying like a really nice bouquet or things like that so I have opted for like a lot of plants but like a fake plant because another thing with flowers is they die especially in my house and so will plants because I'm not very good at taking care of them so I have got a lot of fake plants around my house I really like having some green like having some like life around me but in terms of flowers it's not something I really tend to buy just because again I think it would cost quite a bit of money and could add up quite quickly so I've opted for a different alternative in the sense of fake flowers but yeah they are 10 things I no longer or have never bought if you share any of the same let me know down below or if you can think of things that I could save some money on and don't really need to buy let me know those as well and also if you have any random ones like my spreads which I no longer buy they'd be pretty interesting too I really hope you have liked this video and if you have please hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below hopefully this will give you some inspiration to maybe cut some things out in your own life or just consider reducing back on some things or maybe there's things in here that you've never even thought of but either way I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon